So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kibush Mike here, and welcome back to some more Mother 3. Well, last time we went ahead and freed Salsa and saved his little monkey girlfriend here. And it seems that we see some familiar dances. Um, well, this time we're going to actually see where this leads off to and see what's up. Let's see. Salsa recognizes them. See if uh, remember the dance. That is. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's the same one he learned at Osohe Castle. Now that is extreme dancing skills. <laughs> there we go. Let's see where this takes us. Let's see who we run into. Let's run in. Huh. Seems that it's another uh, one of the gypsies, and maybe something else. And hey, look, it's Kubatora and Doria, I believe. Whoa, awesome! He really did show up, Lucas. <clears throat> oh, you're here too, Salsa? It's great to see you again. I didn't know you were alive. Oh, and how have you been, love monkey? Hello. <laughs> She's a little shy, huh? Doria. Oh my, what adorable visitors. Introduce me to them, won't you? <laughs> yeah, sure. These are my friends. This is Salsa and the monk this is Salsa the monkey and his love monkey. And this is Lucas the human. And this dog is Pony. What's his name again? It's Pony. Pony the dog. <laughs> so you're sweet little Lucas. Oh, has told me all about you. Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lucas, that's Doria, one of the seven gypsies. He saved me. Apparently that's what fate had in store. That's pretty lucky of us. Lucky for us. So let's go ahead and let's head out. Let's see what's up. Ionia told me you would come here. Ah, the needle I'm guarding is at the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more of a pain to pull out. Hee hee hee. It's hard to believe you really have the power to pull the needles. But before you go, before you can even try, we need to move the water from this pond into an empty hole first. You know that Chimera Laboratory to the west of here? There might be some junk there that could help us move the pond water. Why not look for something there? Well, let's not waste any time. Let's actually head back and look. Let's see what um, Professor Endonuts as in store. Alright, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> let's just keep on moving. Let's be fast. Ah! I literally meant let's be fast. Look, it's Dr. Nettles. Oh, lad! I thank you for earlier. What's that? You're looking for a way to transfer all the water from one pond to another? Hmm. Those eyes of yours, lad. They're the eyes of someone who's taken on some sort of mission. Very well. I'll lend you a helping hand. Achoo! And he's got three buddies here to help us. Behold! I've brought several of the chimeras I've been developing in secret. There's four. Take whichever one you think will be the most useful. He said several, but that's... Well, eh. That's Dry Guy. It's the latest model, Dryer Chimera, and it utilizes an air intake system and jet engine. You can dry anything in mere moments, even long hair, afros, panties, and Asian beauties. Are you certain? Is this what you want? Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's try the dry guy. Let's see if he can 
do us any good. Oh, yes, here we are. This will solve our pond water dilemma. I just know it. Well, let's see. Ah. In hindsight... Oh, look at him dry. He's just drying away. Yeah, I don't... Keep at it a little more? No. <laughs> you tried dry guy, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> He's like, really? You sent your choice back. Oh. <laughs> Today must be not your lucky day. That's too bad. Well, let's go ahead and let's return. Alright. Let's see. What can... Oh, well, let's try these two. Let's see what's up with them. Those are the Bucket Brothers. They're the results of combining cutting-edge dough technology with Clayman technology. These fellows are exceptionally hard workers. Uh, let's give these two a try. The Bucket Brothers. Let's see what they can do. <laughs> Seems the other one is a little more shy. Oh, yes, here we are. Let's try this. Let's see if the Bucket Brothers can do it. Ooh, look, they're trying so hard. No. That's gonna take too long. I do not have three hours to spend. I'm sorry. Yes, it's good, though. <laughs> and there they go. Alright, let's go get our third choice. Yeah. Oh, you're straight. Maybe not. That's a bit of a pity. Yeah, let's just go get our third choice. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Let's try this guy. Ah, that one... Huh. That's a rather ho hum chimera known as Pump Chimera. It's an extraordinary it's an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. Is there anyone something yes uninteresting as this? That is the most interesting one out of all of them. Because that's the one that helps the most. <laughs> Jeez. Now this will definitely cure our water pond dilemma. Give it a try. Oh my gosh, it's really just sucking away at it. Huh. And what does it do with that water? Fills it in. Ooh, look at him suck up the water. And fits it right out. Ooh, the pond is slowly emptying. More. Do it more. Yes. It's definitely a treasure. Ooh, look, look. Just look at him go. It's enough to give me chills. Nice job, Pump Camera. You did good. Walk away with that swagger. And there we go. Oh, just look at him swagger away so confidently. He leaves the stage with such a calm air about him. A natural if I ever saw one. What a Casanova. Bravo, Mr. Pump. There it is. That's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. And there's the second needle. Let's not waste any time. Let's head on down. Let's give it a yank. Let's see what Doria has to say. Any last words? We see Boney, Salsa, Sombra, and, well, Kumatoras admiring. Can you really pull this needle like Ionia said? I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions is overcoming me. I can't believe I'm here witnessing this moment. Another th Okay, now pull it with all your might right before my very eyes. If this needle gets pulled, will you disappear like Aeolia did? Yes, that's right, because the needle won't need my protection anymore. The needle can only be pulled when the time comes. So when the needle finally is pulled, the time has come. We the gypsies have lived our lives so that we can happily accept that fate when it comes. So don't worry, I'm not going to die. I'm simply going to follow fate and disappear. So it will be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though, so it will be a little sad too. Hehehe. <laughs> Let's pull the needle. As Doria cheers us on. Let's give it one good yank. There we go. We've done it. 
just like earlier, with Aeolia, the ground shakes as we wake up a little bit of the dragon. There it goes. We <sighs> see that one of good heart has pulled one needle. Now it's one to one. Something awoke inside of Lucas. He realized the power of PK love beta. Well, there we go. This really is the beginning of the end. The time has finally come. E and as Daria does one final hair sweep. I never once imagined someone would show up as this tender girl's home and pull to pull the needle. Disappearing while still young and beautiful, in one sense, it's bliss. Kumatora, go with little Lucas here and see things through to the end. I'm about to disappear youthfully and beautifully. Think about me sometimes, okay? Here, take this memento of me. How we get Doria's mementos. I leave the rest in your hands now. And there we go. Bye now. La la la. And that's farewell to two of the seven Majipsies. Oh wow. How things have changed. Ionia told me this a long time ago. When the dark dragon that's sleeping under the island wakes up, all life and all time will be reborn. Hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna see things through to the end. Lucas, can I come along with you? I wanna go with you. We have to hurry and find Duster and Diego Light too. And there we go. Kumatora has rejoined our party. Awesome. A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. Salsa, we just met again after all this time. But it looks like this is goodbye again. Aww. Farewell, my little monkey friend. What's with that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Let's go. Let's get to that next needle. Say farewell to our buddies. Because this is the last time. You and Love Monkey take care now. It's the last time we see Salsa and Sandra. Huh? What is it? A nut. A nut? For me? <laughs> it's a little gift. Thanks. See you later, if we ever get the chance. Salsa sang farewell for good. And so is Sandra. Beautiful. <laughs> now that's a his, good way to take care of that. He looks like he stuffed his face with bananas. He always does. That's what he looks like. Oh, let's head on down. Let's see where we go next. Squeak, squeak. We got the squeaks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? And it looks like we have ourselves another little fight against the squeaks. And he's got some pretty interesting music. Let's go ahead and need to use the souvenir dress, just so we have better items. Let's have Bony give the squeaks a little snap. Use this biting attack, which did decent damage. It's like an animal, weak against fire, weak against sleep. Ah, uh, I thought that would equip it, but meh, hold on. Ah, uh, we made the squeaks cry, so now we do some decent damage. Uh, let's use fire beta, because I mean, why not? Let's just attack. Use another biting attack. Do all the damage that we can. <laughs> we set him ablaze too, jeez. He's gotta suck, he's crying and ablaze. <laughs> oh, we took care of him with these. Squeak, 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 squeak. I humbly apologize for my rude, egotistical attitude, despite being so weak. Back in the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around. But now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you help me remember who I really am. Wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. Whoa, I'm suddenly feeling homesick now. 
I'm going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Anyway, dude, I'm heading back home now. But watch out for them mole crickets if you keep going east. Out again. So sorry. Huh. We haven't heard from mole crickets in a long while. And look who it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you kept true to your promise and finally came to the mole cricket hole, huh? It's me, it's me. Don't you recognize me? I'm the mole cricket you fought at Alex's place when you were play fighting with the Dracos as a little kid. I've been training for the for this day all these years. Okay, let's go. The time to battle has come. Follow me. Well, let's head on over and let's see where he plans to take us. And apparently during this, there's no enemies whatsoever. Wow. I guess the mole crickets really are a threat. Threat in air quotes, guys. <laughs> ah, let's see what's up. Hmm. It'd be funny, it's just a frog turn around and eat the damn cricket. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. This is where you and me are gonna fight it out. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air when I'm declared the winner. This is also where you're gonna be hit. You're gonna hit the ground with a thud. This is the place. Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to fit through. Come on. There it is. Let's go ahead. Let's not waste any time. Let's hop on down. Now we see we're in a Mole Cricket Hole. Huh. Well, let's just head on through. Let's see what's up. Suck. Saying a couple choice words. Oh, glad to see you didn't whip out on me. This here is our elder. I've asked him to be the judge for our match today. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, neither of us will sit by quietly. Just so you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go to overtime, which will last 5 more minutes. And if a conclusion still hasn't, still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything you'd like to add? Wait, you folks are truly seriously going to fight them? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is to run away. But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop you. You ready to do this thing? Yeah, sure. All right. I guess I'll have. I guess you have no care for your own life. The bell has rung. Now we take on the old Mo Cricket. Let's just hit him with normal attacks. Let's see where this leads. There's one HP, and there we go. He's down just like that. Bony just ate. Bony him. just bit him, and that was it. That's enough. That's enough. We give up. To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could be so easily defeated. Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time, but for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is be on good terms with you, so let's be friends. Is there anything you need? The way out! Actually, yeah. Do you know where the needles sealing away the dark dragon are? We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures, but call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to these mysterious objects. On the mountain, on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the Elder wants to say, too. Oh, wrong voice. He's hard to read sometimes, though. Yes, I agree. The mountain! Go through this mole cricket hole and head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain, huh? We don't have any other leads, so leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh, hey, you guys don't know anything about the Dark Dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. Sadly, we don't. We really are just Mole Crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's still just a Mole Cricket too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the Lotus Roots, blocking your way, and other things like that. Wow, a dragon. I bet it's really incredible. It must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground, needles that seal it away, us being surprisingly weak. Living a long life is worth it. Do you suppose you could tell us more crickets about even more things? Yeah? Thanks. We'll try not to be too much of a bother. So please, raise us to be great. 
To start off, I'm thinking of starting a business in our own unique more quick way. Please stop by if you have ever happened to see us. Oh yeah, if you're gonna go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him just like any other item. Hey, little bro! Come here! And here he comes. Receive the mole cricket brother. If you get lost in the mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Right, little bro? Come on, bro, get your act together. Bad news is, he's kinda lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world. So be careful, you can't take him with you outside the mole cricket hole. Right, little bro? And yeah. <laughs> I mean, all we can really do is kind of try to find our way through here. But luckily we have the mole cricket seed, the lotus roots. So that way we have a more clear path. We see a frog. Save your game? Yeah. <laughs> so he believes me. I'll work hard to save your game just right. <laughs> At least he's giving it a good honest try. Please take care. Give my regards to the next froggy meet. Oh, we sure will. Let's go ahead and let's just run around. Let's see where we can go. Eat away at it. Thank you very much. And I don't really know the exact map to get through here. But a little tip that you can get from the mole crickets is they will tell you to turn at every opportunity that you get. Um, in reality, what you're really going to want to do is just try to head for the top right corner of the map, because I mean that's where you need to go. Let's just keep on moving. Let's just see where we go. Nothing. Dead end. You want everybody to come talk to me even though you lost your way? Make me so happy I want to cry. Yeah, well, it wasn't really that worth it in my opinion, I'm sorry. Uh, let's head over here. Just do that old trick. See. Kind of reminds me of the um, Stonehenge maze back in Earthbound. Very fond memories. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Anything over here. There's so many twists and turns, you can somewhat easily get confused in this. Uh, let's see. I see we keep heading straight to the right. Just keep making way towards the north corner. Uh, there we go. Just keep on moving. And there we go. Let's see. I think we're getting close. Bam. Ugh. Go. Trust me, if you got a, like a map for this area, you'd be so confused just because of how much of a maze it is. Uh, let's head over here. And I think this might be the end. And I think I will... Yeah, let's head up. Ah, oh, we're getting very close, I believe. Just, yeah. Literally the next one. There it is. And it's ridiculously bright, but we are on top of a snowy mountain. With this wonderful music playing, it kind of gives a little bit of a recollection back to winters. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as being a pretty cool guy, okay? Uh, well, with this, I say we leave this video here. So, if you guys did enjoy, please show me some love and support by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with all your friends, family, or anything you might enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And subscribe, and also hit that little bell for daily notifications. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will most definitely see all of you dudes next time. <sighs> Peace out, everybody.